World population growth is negatively impacting the planet. Apart from global warming and resource overexploitation, waste generation is a major problem. For example, every European citizen generates an average of 1.69 kilograms of waste per day. That is more than 620 kilograms per year. Over 60% of waste generation results of product containers and packages that are often made to be disposed of after one use. Until recently, waste management was focused on dumping waste in landfills or incinerating it. This approach is not sustainable for several reasons. It poses serious risks for the environment, living beings and people's health. It fails to reduce the consumption of resources, raw materials and energy. It does not address the cause of the problem, the consumption model, but only the consequences, the waste management. Until recently, the production and consumption model was mainly linear. That is, it comprised a sequence of stages, resource extraction, production, consumption and waste disposal. This model, in which waste is disposed of, is highly polluting as it damages the water in rivers and oceans, lowering the quality of drinking water, the land by reducing soil quality and causing desertification, the air, which becomes polluted, provoking global warming. This pollution also has serious consequences for flora and fauna and for people's health. The way of fighting these effects starts with changing our model of production and consumption from a linear economy to a circular economy. In order to do so, it is essential that companies and consumers change their way of thinking and acting. Companies must design products in accordance with a circular economy approach, using waste as raw materials and reducing the use of resources. But consumers also have a great responsibility. Consumers must use products responsibly, applying the three R's rule, reduce, reuse and recycle. Reducing means preventing the generation of waste, modifying our consumption habits and purchasing products responsibly. Reusing means using a product again for the same function by repairing it or for alternative uses, extending its useful life. And recycling means reintroducing waste materials into the production cycle as raw materials. The three R's rule is hierarchical which means that actions are ordered according to their priority. First, reduce consumption. Second, reuse products. Third, recycle only when the first two options are not feasible. How can we do this? Here are some ideas to implement the three R's. To reduce our consumption, we can limit the purchase of products that are disposable or have bulky packaging. Reduce plastic bag use when shopping. Use electrical appliances efficiently. Purchase the products we need through the sharing economy. Make the most of municipalities' public services. We can reuse products mainly by repairing electrical appliances instead of buying new ones, being more creative, to give a second life to objects that have already been used. To recycle, we must separate different types of waste correctly and throw them into the appropriate trash bin or take them to waste management centers. Applying the three R's rule is really beneficial for society and for the planet. It is up to us to change our production and consumption models, support sustainable growth and create a better future for everyone.